Hey, Mark. Hey, Bryce. Thanks for much coming over. All right, thanks for having me. Great lake house. I know, it's a beautiful location, right? Wow. We recently had a newborn within the past year, and uh, this came up kind of earlier than we expected, but you know, we couldn't resist this view. Right, okay. So we actually done quite a bit of work on the house. Uh, we renovated the entire second floor. With a little baby in the house? With a little baby, quite a bit of work, yeah. All right. The email that you sent me had something to do with a fireplace, correct? It did, yeah. Come on in, let All me show right. you where it is. So Mark, this is our fireplace. Uh, we were looking at actually painting the entire fireplace white, uh, but the reason I'd emailed you is there's a little chip out of the corner of the brick oh, yeah. right here. Okay. All right, well, you have a nice hard brick here. The problem with the hard brick is they're a little fragile in the face, so anytime you bump it inadvertently, yeah. you may end up with a chip, which is probably what happened here. I showed your email tomorrow, and we both agree that once you paint this, that chip is still going to bleed through. Okay. So what you and I have to do is take that brick out and replace it. All right, sounds good. All right, let's get some tools and do it. Okay, we nice and tight? I think so. All right, great, because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cause a little dust when we take this brick out. Okay. You can see that I have a HEPA vac, which sucks up all the dust. We have a grinder, which is adapted to that HEPA vac, okay. and that's what's gonna suck in all the dust. So now we've alleviated the tension on the two bed joints, and we're going to go after the head joint with a hand chisel. So I want to make sure we clean this out because mortar doesn't stick to mortar very well, but it sticks to brick. So we want to make a good spot for the brick to lay. All right, so this is the brick that I came up with. As you can see, the most important part, the face, nice and smooth to match. Color is good, but look at this. Perfect fit. Nice fit, right? Yeah. So all we need now is our mortar. Why don't we go outside and make it? All right. So this is our... Type N mortar. Since we don't need a whole lot, we're just going to mix it by trowel in this small tub. All right, Bryce, why don't you add some water to that? A little bit at first, easy to put in but hard to take out. Just another splash, Bryce. Great. All right, that looks great. Let's go. Awesome. And we want to make sure that we match the existing bed joints so that our brick will sit the way it's supposed to. Okay, now what we want to do is make sure we get this head joint nice and full. And because we're putting a new brick in, this is going to be our last opportunity to get that head joint. All right, I'm also going to back butter this brick and slip it in. I'm gonna wiggle it in. And I'm in. So we did the bed joint with mortar. We did the head joint. We did the head joint over here. Now what we're gonna do is this top bed joint. 
Now, I know it has to be full, so I want to make sure I stuff it really, really well with my very small tuck pointer. So now that my bed joint and head joints are filled, I'm going to run the joint over with my concave jointer just to match the rest of the fireplace. All right, so give this brick a little bit of time to set up, but I'll let Moro know that you're ready for paint. All right, looks good. Thanks, All Mark. Right, you got it, Bryce. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.